Now here's some nostalgia for you. We're going all the way back to Flaming Eternity. You could go a little higher up, but I don't remember the list quite well. The Cybernetic Revolution, because Cybernetic Revolution had a little bit of goats in it. But I don't remember what all got like hidden and stuff. So I'm hit you with that nostalgia up to Flaming Eternity. So the Cyber Twin Dragon you see in there, just put into Cybernetic Revolution. We're going back to Flaming Eternity. And one of my favorite monsters, the Sacred Phoenix of Neftis. That card and the like the four boss monsters of the deck was so much fun. The four boss monsters back in the day were Genzo, Aeronite, Mobius or Zaborg, Player's Choice, not the sleeves, and Black Luster Soldier. But the fifth one was the Sager Phoenix of Neptis. And they had cards that came out back then that was so good and so helpful in that engine. And I'm talking about Apprentice Magician. If you guys don't know what Apprentice Magician is, pretty much the floater or whatever. If this card is summoned, target one face a card on the field that can place counters on it, but that's not the part you really want to do. Basically, if you use Breaker, you already have Breaker on the field, you broke a card. You can summon a Prince Magician and get Breaker another counter so Breaker can pop something up. But that's not the effect you really want to do. Uh, when this card is destroyed by battle, you can put some one level two or lower spell spellcaster type monster from your deck face down, ass up in defense position. And then on your turn, you flip it up. So they attack you, okay, you get Magician of Faith, and you get ready to activate on your next turn. First you activate Pot of Greed, you flip it up, and you play another Pot of Greed or Graceful Charity, blah, 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 blah. Or you can do the fun plays, the Hand of Neptis. You can tribute this card, and one other special summon, one Sacred Phoenix from your deck. So, your Apprentice Magician gets destroyed, you play, you get your Hand of Neptis set, and then you activate your Scapegoats. Or if your scapegoat was already on the field, and then you had Apprentice set on your next turn, you can bring out Sacred Phoenix of Nephthys, and you were set. So let's go into the deck. It's Black Luster Soldier, Two Hand of Nephthys, Sacred Phoenix of Nephthys, Mobius, Aeronite, Genzo, Breaker, Sangin, Tsukiyomi, Double Magician of Fate, Old Vindictive Magician, Trigon One Monster, your opponent controls and destroy that card. It's a flip. Sinister Serpent, Triple Apprentice Magician. Back then, people used two, but I liked it three. Tribe Infecting Your Iris, Heavy Storm, Delinquent Duel, Graceful Charity, Double Soul Exchange, because you can also Soul Exchange and use Hand of Neptis. Snatch Steel, Triple Scapegoat, Triple Metamorphosis, Mystical Space Typhoon, Pot of Greed, Premature Burial, Double Nobleman Across Out, Ring of Destruction, Call of the Haunted, Torrential Tribute, Mirror Force, and Raigeki Break. Extra Deck is like Double Dark Balters, Ryu Senji, Gatling Dragon, Double Dark Bladed Dragon Knife, Triple thousand nine trick now if you go up the higher up in the cybernetic revolution you have triple cyber twin dragons so this is another nostalgic deck if you guys remember this type of goat control hand goat control format let me know in the comments below and tell me what you guys think and i'll see you guys next list